The concept of race came about around the discovery of America. By then, Europeans had already had a slavery system in place, with both indentured servants and African slaves. The concept of slavery in the world came long before the concept of race, and Africans were never considered inferior. In fact, they were actually valued for being very skilled farmers and good workers. So if that's not where it started, where did it? Well, the answer lies in the mid-17th century, when Bacon's rebellion dramatically shifted the concept of American slavery. Indentured servants' terms were ending, and they were demanding lands from their overseers. In order to combat this problem of a failing system, poor whites who were indentured were given opportunities like overseeing slaves, who were now exclusively African slaves. New laws were being written in order to separate blacks from whites. This marks the beginning of racial separation and the idea of racial superiority coming about, but this didn't directly affect how people viewed the race that much. In the mid-18th century, Thomas Jefferson, who was unfortunately yet unsurprisingly supportive of white superiority, wrote in notes on the state of Virginia. Blacks, whether originally a distinct race or made distinct by time and circumstances, are inferior to the whites in the endowments of body and mind. Pretty cold on his part, if you ask me. The seeds of scientific racism were first planted in 1758 when European scientist Carolus Linnaeus published a classification system in System Naturale that applied to humans but didn't break them down into their own separate groups. One of the most important figures in scientific racism was scientist Johann Frederick Blumenbach, who broke down the entire human race down to five groups. This is how he classified each group. The Caucasian race defining anyone who had pale or white skin. The Mongoloid race referring to humans indigenous to Eastern and Southeastern Asia as well as Arctic America. The Malay race which refers to those indigenous to the islands of Malaysia, Indonesia and all the smaller islands around that area of the ocean. The Negroid race referring to those who are indigenous to Central and South Africa, and the American race referring to people who are from both North and South America. By the 19th century, there were two sides to the discussion of race, either that different races were of different species, or that race was just a variation of the human species. The latter view was also compatible to the Christian beliefs and the Bible. The most well-known scientists to support the multi-species sides were Samuel Morton and Louis Agassiz, and the most prominent scientist that believed there was only one species was Charles Darwin. The entire multi-species debate started to become mainstream and led some people to even go as far as to justify slavery and mistreatment of slaves. For example, plantation doctor Samuel Cartwright described the term drapetomania as a slave's tendency for running away and that whipping was the only treatment method. The 19th century also marked a period of very widespread racialization on races other than African Americans. Native Americans, Mexican Americans, Chinese Americans, and even the Irish were on the bottom of the economic and political food chain. Another big threshold to come about in this century was the publishing of Uncle Tom's Cabin, written by Harriet Beecher Stowe, which helped humanize slaves in the public eye. Towards the beginning of the 20th century, between 1889 and the early 20s, a lot of lynchings were taking place in around America. The victims usually being black, but Italian Americans, Asian Americans, and Jews were also victims. By World War II, the idea of race had changed pretty drastically from the prior century. More racial categories were accepted through things like immigration. From there, the study of races became more legitimized and the idea of superiority became less of a widespread thing. Come modern day, and the concept of race was nothing like it was X many years ago, whether that be 30 years, 100 years, or even 300 years. Race is a huge part of what we represent as a population, especially in America.